Hello, 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 everyone. Meldron TV here with Def Camp. What's up? Hey guys, so welcome to Classic Vanilla WoW Discussion Part Six. This is a series where we, uh, Def Camp and I, just ramble on about things that we think is important in Classic WoW and how Classic WoW should be implemented. <laughs> And uh, people and, post why we're wrong in the comments. Yeah, yeah, that's that's always good. But, you know, this is an opinion piece, so you're more exactly, welcome to do yeah. so if you do it eloquently and without disrespect. However, today's topic is going to be money, 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 money. <laughs> money! Yeah. So, remember, guys, Blizzard Activision is a business. Foremost, front front and foremost, first and foremost, they're a business. They, they're in this business to make money. Yes, they're providing us a very awesome world to play in and stories and lore but with the base of it it's about money they're gonna so, do what's gonna make them money correct whatever's gonna make their uh, wild fatter is what they're gonna put out yeah and this episode is about how money is going to dictate the change versus no change argument and we're going to provide evidence to say that the bottom line quote unquote you know what you want to shoot for that you know the once you weigh your costs versus your 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 profit that's the bottom line how is that going to affect changes and we're going to provide you evidence to saying that it's going to limit changes to this game and we'll provide you evidence why. yeah um first i want to start with the why, tweet. why we think why at least correct our opinions correct back with some possible evidence <laughs> yeah. um but i want to lead off with, with a tweet by a man who is literally to me yeah. is, is a damn saint um i really liked this. i got really excited uh when you when you showed me this tweet because i had no idea about and oh, I think I, yeah, I wish we had, yeah, I wish we had someone like this um, being interviewed. I wish we had someone like this working on Vanilla, um, but yeah. unfortunately, he no longer works for the company. No. Um, but go ahead and read the tweet. I just, yeah. Yeah. So Mark Kern, if you don't know who he is, um, I want to post a picture of him up here in a little video, little video, <laughs> video. But who he is is, guys, when Nost, when Nost's petition was drafted, and the petition was to go to Mike Morgan, who's a uh, uh, one of the higher ups in Blizzard about petitioning classic servers. You know, and Nost, if you don't know, Nostalrius' main reason for even existing was to promote Classic WoW and to raise the eyebrows of, of everyone around Blizzard to say, hey guys, can you please make classic servers? That's the only reason they did it. They didn't do yep. it for fame. There's a community out here that wants yeah. to play this game and they didn't that do it will for pay money. More. Correct. And the petition, who was signed by me and 250,000 other people, and, uh, and you, yeah was drafted uh and mark kern printed out every single petition 250,000 sheets of paper um and brought those petitions to mike morgan uh that's who mark kern is so if you don't know who he is he used to work on vanilla well he left the company he developed vanilla well uh partially developed vanilla well and he was like hey this is a huge community he's not gaining anything from this he's not getting any money out of this or nothing he just said hey there's a community here i want to help them out and he and, wrote this yeah, yeah. he's ahead. he's obviously uh he's he's uh he's on our side guys part of the light so he's on everyone's side he's on everyone's side really side. but 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 he points out some really p interesting points and i think we should listen to someone who's been involved in game development yeah and this was posted on February 30th. This is a series of six tweets uh, by Mark Kern. He uses the handle Grums, G-R-U-M-M-Z, on Twitter. So I'm going to read the tweets out um, to you guys, and I'll put them up on the screen. So, cool. here is my big concern with WoW Classic. The WoW audience is split between Vanilla WoW and New WoW fans. Making WoW Classic to appease both is near impossible. The goal of WoW Classics to satisfy the market that I helped prove existed and explained to the CEO of Blizzard in person when I delivered the Nostalrius petition. WoW Classic needs to cater to that market first and foremost. That proven market wants minimal changes to WoW. They want the original experience as much as possible. People who keep trying to convince Blizzard to veer away from that goal are never going to like it. They should stick to new WoW. He even said it. That's crazy. <laughs> two products serve two huge segments of WoW. If you make Pepsi and Mountain Dew, you don't try to come up with a new soda called Pepsi Dew to try and capture both markets. <laughs> what WoW Classic needs to sort, uh, what WoW Classic needs is a sort of constitution, principles that make vanilla WoW what it was. When you can build changes and patches on top of that, so long as you never veer from these established principles that will guide future changes. A lot of players left WoW because of the changes. 
the whole point of WoW Classic should be to recapture this lost market. And to seg and this segment of WoW gamers does not want a ton of changes. They want changes only in the spirit of the original game I worked on. Wow. Okay. You know, guys, I just first want to say that um, if you're, you know, it, no matter what uh, version of WoW you like, this guy here, he's um, he's done a lot for this game, and uh, he knows a lot of the inside uh, workings of the, of the game and how Blizzard the company. So, um, you know, I'm willing to take it from the horse's mouth. I think he he has a a, a huge understanding of the. Uh, people that want to play this game and the people who want the new changes and I think he realizes how big of a that is and how important it is to um, to listen to that market and actually um, you know try to put out something that uh, they would want so yeah and not only does he make sense uh, in that respect but he makes sense business wise the guy knows business yeah right? and that's what yeah. we're going to get into there's three main points um, that this discussion is going to follow three broad points um and we're going to go through each one of them we're going to spend some time on each one and the first is the cost of benefit ratio and what this means is that every business has a cost right when you are making pretzels okay you have to buy dough you have to buy salt you have to buy uh an oven you have baking to buy soda baking soda all these things are costs to you right the benefit is how much money you're bringing in right okay so you want to balance that ratio. You don't, you want to you want to actually have more profit. You don't want you don't want this ratio to be balanced. You, to, you want this ratio to be heavy on the benefit side. Okay. Right. Uh, heavy on the benefit side means you lower costs as much as possible. Now I'm not saying Blizzard doesn't, and Activision don't provide quality products. Even though I may not like the way BFA is and Legion went, I cannot I cannot argue with the fact that they are beautiful <laughs> games. And amazing, people play it. Amazing yeah. music. Amazing. You know. So much money goes into these things. I'm not saying that they're poorly made. And there's a huge market out there who likes that game and plays that game. Yeah. Um, and they and they know how to relate to that market. Right. And that would so what there's my, another market out there, guys. Yeah. The point I was trying to make with that statement is saying that Blizzard's not cheap. Is what I'm trying right. to say. They do they do ma minimize cost and maximize benefit, but they're not cheap. Um. However. There's something, a point I want to bring up that was actually brought up by Tips Out, who is a, a I very respect, he's a new YouTuber, relatively new. Uh, yeah, I, n I never knew him before the uh, Classic Cast came out. But, yeah, um, and he's making some quality classic yeah. stuff, and um, I want to give him a shout out if he's watching this. You're doing and he job. makes some really, really great points in the uh, Classic Cast. If you guys haven't uh, checked it out, it's on s Van's channel. Yeah, and I'll, I'll link it in the description as well. Um, but he made a point that, you know, Classic WoW, Vanilla WoW, is a product that already works. Yep. And the, the evidence of that is the millions of subscribers and players who play on Classic servers all over the place. Okay, Private servers, yeah. Private ser sorry, private servers. And his point is, why would you pay someone so much, so much money and pour so much time and energy into a game if you really don't know how it's going to go, honestly, when it comes out? We don't know how well it's going to do. But we also know that it already works, okay? Right. So this is a huge point that I that I that I was also thinking of, but I never really put two and two together. Is that let's think about this from a business standpoint. A lot. See, the problem with a, a lot of us, a lot of work at people is we're very emotional. We get very we passionate. Think of, yeah, we, about we this think game. of what we want, and we don't think of it from an actual logical business standpoint. Yeah, and I think we but need. Sometimes to really they start go hand in that. hand. Yeah. Because, I, I, uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, man. I mean, like, like we, you and I are very passionate Warcraft players, but we always forget to think <laughs> about the money part of it. And this is yeah. business. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna ask you guys, you know, would you pour money? And then you're gonna say, no, they already hired people. Yes, but you have to realize time and effort that's going to go into. Let's let's think. Let's list also, the things that and, have to yeah, change. The um and also the I'm pretty sure the uh, development team is only like. It's it's a very small amount of people compared to the amount of people that work on BFA. It's probably a very small fraction of that. Yeah. Um, so so you can't have that. these it's guys working 100 people. hours a week. It's just not possible. And if you and if you're going to redo the graphics, redo the world, you know these huge big changes that people are calling for, like integrating. Um, it's going to take a long time. LFG. It's going to take a lot of money. It's going to take yep. a long time. It basically, guys, they would have to redo the game. So if you remember when Cataclysm came out, like that was a huge undertaking because they had revamped so much of the world 
And even though like a lot of the world was changed, there's still a lot of things changed because it was such a big undertaking. And with the team they have right now, they had a whole team working on that expansion. A whole, you know, a big team. They have a much smaller team now uh, working on this. And it's going <laughs> to, if they were to do that, it would, it would cost way too much money. And another big point is, uh, Phil, they're already working on another expansion right now that's costing a lot of money. They're going to yeah. try to make this cost as little money as they can. That's a very valid point. You have two developments going on right now, which is... It puts a lot of pressure on the on the on the purse on the, on the coin purse on the yeah. of Blizzard's coin purse, and um, they want to you know undercut the competition, right? We're trying to think, use auction house uh, metaphors yeah. here, <laughs> but but um, so yeah, that's a really good point. You have two big developments, well, maybe not big, but you have two developments going on here, um, and you really want to minimize how much cost you're going into, and you know, and yeah. um, this doesn't say that changes. Well, this is something that maybe we should we should talk about. But um, so J. Allen Brack put out a quote, and I'll put the quote on right here. <clears throat> yeah, J. Allen yeah. Crack, sorry, <laughs> put out a quote. We talked about this last episode. Um, there's a quote from him that b basically lines out that Blizzard does not want to run and keep at, and not by running meaning uh, not keep them open, but maintaining. Two MMOs. two MMOs, which would be basically pouring new resources and new money into Classic, which they already, you know, they already know how it ended, how it ended. so, basically putting new resources into it. Right, and this and this means that this is not another piece of evidence that that may point to the fact that they're gonna put, they're gonna do as 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 little as humanly possible to get this out. I think. Yeah. Um, which is fine because it, in 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 uh, Death Camp and I's opinion, that means no change and not a lot of change. The game's yeah. the game's beautiful the way it is, and and I, I know that people disagree with me. That's fine. You can disagree with me all you want, um, but you have to realize from a business standpoint, they know they can they can expect X amount of subscribers based upon the private server numbers because that's how the game is now and, then, and a lot of you are going to say some of the private servers do have changes that is very true you are absolutely right but the most popular private server out there lights hope has a very minimum almost zero zero to, as they have, far yeah, as they have some some changes some like little very things that people don't even realize like uh respawn and Tom or something like that i'm sure they're not exactly what they were exactly but that's vanilla. not because they don't want to they just don't know what they were and also they have ten thousand people playing the game they do so, have ten thousand people uh, playing the game. yeah but they have very limited changes. Um, they went with the 1.121 uh, talents, which was something that was in vanilla, and then uh, brought out content um, from a standpoint with MC, uh, BWL, in that timeline, and that's what they went with. They went with a version of the game that um, was, you know, something that was in vanilla, and they made it work, uh, I think, pretty eloquently. Yeah, and I, and I think that's true. And it, so... It, all you people who are on the I've been reading the forums in the last couple of days. All of you people that say how can no, how can purists want no changes if they're playing on servers that have changes? Nostalrius, Kronos, Elysium, and Lights Hope did their best. They had some corruption issues in Elysium. Did their best to provide the least amount of changes possible. And guess what, guys? Those were the most populated ones. Yep. So and the people people you can tell. Uh, there's a huge correlation with the amount of players uh, to the amount of the le less amount of changes. So, like the servers that were more true to vanilla had the higher players, uh, had the higher, um, um, you know, amount of players. And I think that's a huge uh, statement. Uh, yeah, I couldn't. You know, more. that's a that's a huge you know. thing. Uh, another thing I want to point out is is another point that may tie into. Um, what version of classic we're getting by by version i mean patches and that's the point of minimization so uh, the purists out there you have to, so there's there's two camps of purists even though we're both purists i think there's pure and more pure um the more more, more pure people want the patch cycles integrated starting at 1.1 and going up to 1.12 yeah a um, lot of people forget about um well we'll get to that but uh, <laughs> yeah but i want to explain yeah. what a patch means so man if you, okay what, go ahead what, yeah. what does a patch mean to you patch is basically um to me it's like a band-aid or you know, they're trying to fix something that they think um wasn't working correctly and they are trying their best to try to improve on that um by yeah. 
changing uh, something, whether it be a character, uh, something in a raid, something to a class, um, but it's basically a band-aid. Right, and we're not talking about content patches here, guys. We're talking about ability patch. And so a patch has two parts, right, when a patch comes out. There's a content that comes out with it, usually, and then changes right. to the game. We're talking about the change portion, not the content. The characters, mechanics, yeah. things like that, yeah. The content will roll, roll out probably how it does in all the private servers. They roll out as they, they, would, they did, or close to how they did when the game launched. Right. We're talking about content. So for the purest, more purest out there, which well, I'm not going to tell you what I am because I'm kind of in the middle somewhere. The more purest people, uh, I don't think they're going to patch it 12 times. No, I don't either. I, I think... I, yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I, I think the way um, that, you know... So a lot of people, um, you know, argue that, oh, well, you know, the, if they patch it at 1.1, that, that it'll be, you know, more um, like how it was in vanilla. But I think that right there is just more effort that they're going to have to put into the game. Uh, it's a lot more work. It's a lot more. Um, it's just so, so many things that go into. And basically, like, when they um, release it, so like when the private service releases at one point, uh, 12 one that's like them saying okay you know they worked out all these bugs and all these issues throughout this expansion they found the best way um and the most balanced way that it worked and let's go with that you know what i mean so i Correct. think from like blizzard's standpoint they're gonna want to go with uh the final um patch which was basically the biggest band-aid it was all these uh con like they conglomerated all these band-aids and all these things together and came out with this i mean a pretty i yeah. think beautiful patch where things were pretty well balanced things were pretty well put together and um i think it worked great and yeah that it might mean that molten core might be a little bit easier with with these patches it might but it, but it worked yeah and i think that's the most important thing to, to yeah. remember because in 1.1 there was no diminishing returns um i think people would take huge advantage of something like that and we'd be running around Raven Hill Cemetery yeah. uh, being feared for two hours there's straight. There's one action bar. There's a lot of things you does, a lot of things yeah. that are like, yeah. And I think there's two and things. And you know, it would yeah. be cool to see that, but it's just, it's it's a, it's a big undertaking that it's, people don't realize. Yeah, it's an undertaking. Yeah. And what is what is one of the, my favorite goblin quotes, Matt and Booty Bay? What do they always say when you click on them? <laughs> Which, uh, uh, uh... You know which one of this Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, wait, I, I'm like so tired. It ends I'm with the word working. friend. Time is money, friend. Oh, that's right. right? Time is money. Time friend, is yeah. money, dude. It's in the Truth game. Blank. It is time is money. The yeah. more time you put towards these things, the more money you're putting out. Minimization is a huge thing, um, and I think they're either going to have minimized patches, they're going to conglomerate patches, or they're going to have no ability patches and just yeah, have see the reason why I don't see the the um because if they do that and they say they put out and. This is what I'm just going to say. So stay safe. Um, when he was listening to JL on crack uh, talk about <laughs> what patch he wanted to bring out. So he said in in the interview, uh, in the Forbes interview, um, that he wanted to try to emulate the, you know, the 0405 version of the game. I think he said either 04, 05, or 05, 06. And we know that Vanilla went from uh, late 04 to I think it was like early 07 yeah it did so i'm sorry so i think he said 0405 version of the game yeah so what stay safe was saying that he thinks he's actually pointing to a specific patch and i disagree with with you there stay safe if you're listening i'm sure uh you probably aren't but um so what i think he was doing there is um obviously guys jayon brack has misspoken before he um referenced ubers twice to uh, as a five man this is also somebody who didn't work on vanilla um so i think he's just trying to use the information best as how he understands it and, and how he how he uh knows it yeah. so i think he was just trying to portray that we're going to try to make uh vanilla you know what it was in vanilla i think that he just pointed to those years because those were or 0506 he either said because those were the big years of vanilla you know yeah that's um, when i don't most think of the i don't think he was out. yeah 
Most of the changes I don't think happened. he was pointing to yeah. a specific patch in that time frame. Like we're thinking, uh, one point. Oh, that means he's pointing to patch one point seven. No, no, he doesn't know what he's, he's pointing talking to about. Patch. I don't think yeah. he understands. Honestly, I think he just it, either misspoke yeah, or used that yeah. as a reference. As you know, this is what yeah. the timeline Vanilla was in. And, and to his credit, it's hard in an interview to be right about everything you say. It really it is. is. It it's is. Hard. Yeah. Um. So. Just remember, there was a learning curve that the developers went through over these over these four years. There's a huge learning curve, and the patches represent that learning curve. Um, and the word patch, think patchwork in like Nax, okay? Right, patchwork right. is literally a conglomeration of dead bodies patched together. Yeah. <laughs> Patching is a is yeah, a yeah. That's a good way to put it, man. Yeah, you're literally <laughs> patching stuff together. You're you're fixing. Yeah. So. I'm not saying that I don't or do not want this. Has nothing to do with what I want. I'm just telling you what the most it's, yeah, minimalist, it's almost like logical they're, they're gonna thing. Go, right. Yeah. It's almost like they would have to go back and say, okay, we knew we messed up on this patch, but we have to release it like this, and then we're going to release a patch where we fix that, and yeah. then release another patch where we yeah. fix that. Like, I do not see Blizzard doing that. These are guys that are very... Um, uh, What's the word? Pr proud or uh, proud, and they're they're very prideful um, logical. And they, yeah, they're prideful, logical, and they're, logical. Yeah. they're not going to want to put out something that they know doesn't work or had flaws. Right. Um, right. Yeah, of course there are flaws in patch one point uh, twelve one, but there's I, I think the least flaws um, yeah. in vanilla, and I think it was the best balanced uh, version of vanilla, and I think it would be. You know, that's I mean, who's to say they they might put something out where they try to work uh you know something with mc and then they try to work something with bwl and they try to work something but then that, that becomes a change less, because yeah 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 less patches and not 12 yeah because and that becomes a, a change because you know are they going to use something that was actually out during vanilla or are they going to try to make something new and then that becomes a whole new can of That's worms that becomes a whole yeah. new yeah. slippery slope so but again I, think, I don't think they're going to reinvent the wheel they're going to save money That's exactly the and then yeah. like with the private servers there's a version out there that already works that people are playing that people are putting a yeah. massive amount of time into i've yeah. put so much time into private servers so have other people yeah it's like cigarettes and, right you, you, if, yeah if why would you want to invent a new type of cigarette people are already addicted to cigarettes you don't have exactly. to change nicotine <laughs> you know what yeah. i mean it's just and i hate and, that yeah, reference wow is a drug that, but let's face it right it kind of when is people talk bit. about like the graphics thing like yeah. i mean i'm sure there are some people out there who would like to see it in in higher graphics but they're are just as many people who are going to continue yeah. to play it no matter what if it has but, uh, sharper graphics and yeah. you know what a lot of people don't realize is back then um computers uh and you know just monitors and they were as sharp as they were today i mean if you put classic today on uh, ultra quality it looks pretty damn good it's I, pretty I, I sharp it looks really it's, good too. It lighting it's, nice. yeah, it's it's not legion yeah. it's not you know no, what i mean not, and, but it's, it's but, definitely doable. i mean it's definitely doable. Yeah. It's definitely something that uh, people look great. back and they watch videos of Vanilla and they're seeing people playing it on those old yeah. monitors. Yeah, those like old Mage yeah. videos yeah. and all that stuff, yeah, the Rogue videos. And, and that's what people yeah. realize, like, oh my god, that's what they played on? But if you play a private server, it's pretty much the same graphics, but you're playing it on a, uh, yeah. a newer computer. Yeah, exactly. and, a, and, a, and to me, this is my opinion, I think it looks yeah. amazing. So, so real I don't see have, why that would change. close this section off, but there's two things I want to talk about. Um, and one yeah. of them is... Uh, this goes so we, we try to tie in each point to the back to the tweet and this goes back to the part where he's talking about Pepsi and Mountain Dew you don't make a Pepsi Dew right yeah you just don't yeah, do that's... it you have two proven markets <laughs> look at hey everybody we got the Pepsi Dew yeah. for next and for yeah exactly I mean this is yeah. business 101 you have two proven markets you don't F with those markets you just don't do yeah. it if you have hey, you people, can't make people everybody who love cigarettes guys. and people who love dip, I hate using drugs, yeah. but if you have people who love to use cigarettes and people who love alcohol, you don't make alcohol. It's like tomaco from uh, yeah. Simpsons. Guys, like, this is know, what it comes down do to. It. Yeah. You can't make everybody happy, so you have to try to make masses happy. Yeah. And making the masses happy, in my opinion, is going to be bringing something out that already that they know already works yeah. on private servers. Yeah, and That's Nixon, what it comes and, down to. Yeah. And Nixon brought up a huge, really, really, really good point. If changes do happen, they should come farther down the road, and this is up This is up for debate. Should we have a polling system? People don't system? know what they want. People so, don't know so what they Matt want. So Matt doesn't think people know what they want. Um, and I'm I think we get a lot of people that. Yeah. who never played vanilla. Yeah. We get a lot of people who... Well, this would be implemented they, like two years from now, after the game's already been out. True, but I think there's so many people think they know what they want and those people will be the people who quit within a week or two right but those people and will be weeded those, out so they wouldn't be polling on this yeah probably, right? but there's so, a lot of those people because there are a ton of people who play well 
uh, today that never played vanilla, that never played BC, yeah. that never even played Wrath, or maybe they came in Wrath and they were used to the game the way it was then. Um, but there are so many people that I think, uh, oh yeah, this that sounds great, that would be great, that would be great, and then they, they go on to play BFA without ever even touching Classic, but for some reason they were the ones who uh, implemented all these changes, they were the ones whose voice yeah. was listened to. That's not fair. It's not. I agree, and I think that maybe that, well, that's why a polling system may never work. But if they, if a polling system does exist, Nixium was explaining it should be a very high majority, like seventy-five. I agree. 80%. I agree. Um, Completely what, agree. What we're saying yeah. about a polling system, guys, is that later on, when the expansion's already, when the game's already been out, if people, if there is now cry for changes, there should be a de the dem democratic vote, and it should be a very high majority should be passed for any changes. I'm not saying I agree with this, but if you want changes, guys. Let the game come out first. Yeah. See what it's like. If you or at still least a beta. don't like it, if I would say even past beta, if you still don't yeah, like it, sure, we can implement a polling system. But just you let know, it come yeah. out the way it's supposed to come out first. Just try it. Just try it. If you have never tried it, just try it and see what you think. Okay. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, we got to move on to point two because we're like yeah, let's we're do way it. over. Okay. <laughs> it's okay though. I want to. It's a it's Phil, You see, so it's got to be like this. No, 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 no. I just, we went 26 no, no, no. minutes on that point. I just want to keep Oh, that's not that bad. Okay, no. let's move on. Okay, so number two. Blizzard hates... Number two? <laughs> but number two. Blizzard hates private servers. Yes. Why hate... do I say that, Matt? Tell them. Tell the people why I say that. <sighs> Guys, if you had someone out there who um, was, say, using something that was yours, and gaining people and making money and not making money off but taking people away from yeah, so you're losing money what yeah. you had you're losing money you're losing your fans you're losing people that potential money could, yeah could be playing your game but they're playing what somebody else is basically saying that's theirs but it's actually yours so it just comes down to uh like you know i think they really hate they hate private servers. But what because... empirical evidence do we have that, we, that shows we they don't like private servers? We have evidence. What is the evidence? Oh, uh, <laughs> what they did to NOS. Yeah, NOS was shut down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the clearest bit of evidence we have. Blizzard does not like yeah. private servers. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just stating a fact. No, they're not. You know, yeah. And as a company, I think you have a, a certain... Um, well... You know, yeah. you, you almost, but you know, when it comes to something like this, it's a little bit harder to... to yeah, I'm not saying they're to, wrong uh, or they're right. I think it was kind right of messed up what they yeah. did. And how they did Definitely. it, but now Definitely. that they've come good on their promise, it's not as bad, right? Well, um, we'll see. When, we'll see. Until yeah, we'll, we'll, see. <laughs> we'll see if they came good. Um, so because they said they're releasing classic, and if yeah. that's what they're releasing, not classic remastered, that's not what we asked for. We asked for classic. So right, we'll, no, exactly. we'll have to see. Yeah. yeah. So we have the possibility of losing a player base, losing money. That's one reason why Blizzard hates private servers. Um, mm -hmm. Pride. Let's let's talk about pride, intellectual property. Yeah. So. Do you? Th I think sometimes it's a slap in the face when people play an older version of the game and you think to yourself, damn, we can't make a game better than it was in 04 and 05. I think that plays a huge part. I think they think that people should be... Oh, listen, guys, you know, we moved on from those times. We move on from those days. You're living in this past. You, you're living in nostalgia. You got these rose-colored glass, glasses on. Oh, the game wasn't that great. Look at what we have here. This is so much better. We've worked on all these different issues and done this and done that. How the hell could someone in their right mind want to play a game that's over 10 years old? How could someone in the right mind actually, you know, think yeah. that that's better than this? And and it comes down to like, wow, did we really waste the last 10 years of our of our money making this game and people still want to play yeah. the old game? Yeah. Like, imagine how that would feel. If if you created something, and everyone is saying, "Oh, dude, like, yeah, this is kind of shitty. Um, the way you made it like ten years ago is way better," you know, like, uh, the, you know, and yeah. you put so much of I your agree. blood, sweat, and tears into it, put so much time into it, and people turn around and say, "Dude, like, this isn't even that great. What you did way back then was way better." So I think it does play a part. Uh, pride sure. does play and a even huge the lore part. too. Like, it, as a fledgling writer myself, yeah. I, I I hope to be a writer one day. And I, I but like, and I'm working on a novel that I've worked on for five years. But I, you can't do a yeah, PhD. You can't do a PhD in a novel. It's just it just doesn't work. Well, you can, but you know, yeah, then you don't have a life. Twenty years down the line, you probably uh, still won't have either. Yeah, but... either of them, right? <laughs> yeah. So like, one, but I would hate that. Yeah, you know, if I see my lore coming out. And then people want the old, you know, it makes me feel, you know, as a writer, it yeah. makes me feel kind of like some kind of way, right? Exactly. It's like, you yeah. know, uh, these people put out, I'm not saying the lore is bad. I'm just saying that it's different. 
And, that's a really good point um, that you put out there. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, if a writer, you know, continued to say he wrote, you know, four versions of the same book, and everyone wants that first version. Everyone wants that first version. Hey, what happened to this? Oh, yeah. Why didn't you write like this anymore? Why don't you write like this anymore? It would get so annoying. To yeah. The point you're probably say, screw it. All right, you know what? I'm going to re-release it or something like that. Yeah, that's exactly was, what happened eventually. Yeah. They finally bend it. But like, so. So company duty, Matt brought this up earlier when we were talking about the yeah. and you know, it, it, it it's it's your duty as a company to in, protect yourself, right? Um duty. Because like that's your name out there, right? So you so you yeah. don't want to like if someone made it like a if I made Pepsi, right? And then someone made like Depsy <laughs> and like it tasted exactly. the same, I'd be like, yeah. dude, what the hell, dude? Like you, you couldn't name it something else. You know, there it's, is like it's a It's your obligation to protect um because it it, it, it in a way it um smudges your sure. uh, product yeah it, does. it puts a little uh, blemish on your product it because does. oh like wait this guy who's you know doing this can make the same thing i did what's so special about your product now you know yeah and so the another point is matt and i when we were in when i was in philly we went to see the uh terracotta warriors if you don't know what they are um, it was awesome guys yeah, they're so like, what are they three thousand years old yeah, over two thousand years over old. Over two thousand years uh, old. Good. It was you, the yeah, emperor. You. Yeah, I love history. History's the, uh, early emperor of China who helped. Um, it basically, it, during one of the early unifications of China, he uh, buried himself with thousands of terracotta warriors to bring uh, with himself in the afterlife. You know what a terracotta is? It's a, it's kind of it's basically like clay. Like clay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, it was just so amazing to actually go there and see something that's thousands of some that's you know each. Each of these warriors, you know, had uh, a face that looked like it was a real person. There's so much work went into it. I don't know what your uh, the, the point you're trying to bring by putting them up. So, so what I'm to... saying is Mao, uh -huh. during the during the communist during communist China, Mao oh, yes. destroyed okay. a lot of the a past, lot of history. A lot of the history in China. Why though? What's the mindset of that? Think about it. What is the mindset? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's basically. Uh, to for, well, I mean, why I think, and it will be, you know, to uh, forget the past and to, and you, to you, and the fact that you'll probably never match up to that past glory as a leader. That and I, and I think also is it, it um, well, I think sometimes it opens up um, a whole new world of uh, way of thinking. It works, uh, you know. It's sometimes it's. It's dangerous to have people with open minds and have people with information, and it's dangerous to um, to allow people to think differently. And you know, it's it's better to uh, keep everyone in the masses huddled together, looking in the same direction, and not looking back and saying, "Oh, things worked differently back then. And things actually were good back then." And things, you know, yeah, it might have been two thousand years ago, but like things were amazing and they flourished and they were they had a culture and they were. Yeah culture um, individuality yeah. right individuality now. and people were able to express themselves in ways in art and, and and poetry and things that today we don't have and it goes which is really sadly in classic creep, creepily kind of yeah. like how it was in classic <laughs> and you know classic yeah. guys it was so beautiful because like you can have this character who uh you know you could pour yourself into and and it, you could feel like it was an extension of you and it and actually um go into this world and just completely immerse yourself and feel like such a small part in this big world that um it was such an like to me i mean my i have i love just imagining things in my imagination and it allowed my imagination to run wild with all these different possibilities and all these these so many uh, explorations just going from one side of the world to, to going from eastern kingdoms to calendar now all you have to do is hop on a mountain and go right from here to here. It takes the glory, it takes the mystery away from the game. It took all these uh, really, um, you know, beautiful and I think passionate things that I, I loved about the game. It just ripped it away by making yeah. it this this mess of, uh, um, you know, LFG and uh, just queue up and yeah. go right here and don't talk to this person yeah. and you don't even have to quest to do this and it's just. Yeah. It's like it's Definitely. like how we talked about that those two different worlds, you know. Yeah. One so was, uh, yeah, and, yeah. And squash, I can go on to that forever. Yeah, I'm sorry. But sorry, but yeah. squashing that represents what Matt was trying to say is you want to cover up that past glory because you'll never get that again, right? Right. So why do I bring this up? Why do I bring up the Blizzard hates private servers? It's very simple. If they fail, if People they fail, back. 
people will go back. I know I will. They can't fail, guys. They cannot fail, which means is they have to cater to. So your this market. is the way I see it. They have to cater to the people that are playing private servers now. Why? Because the people that are playing private servers now will pay for a version of the game. Yes, they will. That is pure and vanilla like as long as Blizzard brings it out. And the people that aren't happy about it and that one of the changes, guess what? They'll still play a Blizzard product. So they will play BFA. They will play the future. So they're not going to lose out on a market when they can right. have two. Exactly. It's that simple, guys. It's it all simple. comes down to the all money buck, guys. None of this is based upon our, our, our opinions. This is based upon logic and business. Okay? If you hate private servers because they're driving away business and they're tarnishing your name, the only way to stop them is to produce a product that they're already producing and to shut them down. The only way yep. to shut them down is if you provide a better or equal product, correct? How did they how did they shut down uh uh wow uh, uh gold sellers guys? Blizzard exactly. Blizzard allowed people exactly. to, to buy gold. They became gold sellers. <laughs> exactly. And yeah. they did it in a way that was easier and better because now you could use gold to not only buy WoW stuff, but to buy all Blizzard stuff? Like, you can never do that with a, with a with WoW seller. No. They totally they um, totally destroyed the market. They destroyed their market. By creating the market themselves. So That's exactly right. Man. What they're going to do here, guys, is they're going to create a version of Vanilla that's going to be similar to private servers, but better in my opinion. I think this is what they have to do, because the people that are complaining about, oh, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have LFG, they're not going to lose those people, guys. They're still going to be playing BFA. Yeah. They're still going to be paying just as much as they would if they were just playing for Classic. So why why not have two consumers instead of just one? Yeah. That's what they're going to do. I mean, it's that simple, guys. That's comes down to logic, logistic, and just pure business. Yeah. And uh, that's our point, really. Right, and I can't stress this enough. This is None of this is driven by, like... What Def Camp and I want. We yes, we are purists. We may not be ultra purists, but we are definitely purists. Um, by ultra, that whole thing about the patch cycling. I think that's where it splits. But uh, yeah, yeah. But what I have, but like guys, this is not based upon that. I'm just giving you cold hard facts here. Am I happy about the cold hard facts? Yes, because I think it goes into what we want. But that yeah. doesn't. That's not driving this video. What's driving this I video think is Phil, power yeah, and money. This is coming from a scientist who has to look at the facts and. So. Yeah, that's what I do all day. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. just trying. I, I was sitting there today at work. I should I should have been working, and I was like, <laughs> okay, why work when you think about classic? Yeah, wow, I was dude. like, how? Yeah, exactly. How could this? How is this logic going to unfold? And I listened to Classic Cast number two, and I jumped off of there. I I, I, I really I, love that. I I just want to say, guys, like what they're doing with Classic Cast, I think great, because yeah. they're getting people like Nixium, like as fan. Big people names. that are really passionate about it and yeah. and they're making it into the light and yeah. they put out some really great points and I hope people at Blizzard are listening to this because they really brought home some amazing points on that classic cast and um, it just goes to show that these are people that are passionate about Vanilla and they know what they're talking about and if you haven't watched it, please watch it and please listen to more stuff like this and go to the forums and talk because... Yeah. Um, Yep. Blizzard needs to know this kind of stuff, guys. Yep. They just need to. I agree. It's just good for everyone. Yeah. So, yeah, what I was saying was, I, jumping off of what I... Some of the things I heard in Classic Cast, jumping off what I read about the tweet, I sat there and brainstormed for a while, and I'm like, okay, we need to make a video about how money affects this. And not anyone's anyone's uh, beliefs, emotions, or wants... Their bias. Biases. Yeah. This is stone cold green. You know, yep. this is how it's going to work out. And this what is makes right, sense what from a think. logistical point of right. view. Yeah. So, we're well, going back to the tweet. Uh, we try to tie everything back to the tweet before we move on yeah. to a new point. Um, so, this goes back to uh, Mark's point: is that there's two huge segments of WoW, um, basically, and you know, and the, the and you have a proven market that wants minimal changes to WoW. They want the original yep. experience as much as possible. People who keep trying to convince Blizzard to veer away from that goal are never going to be going to like it they should stick to new well um you know basic what, what i mean is the private servers represent that proven market and if you want to shut down that that private servers and save that proven market you have to produce a bit a, a very have similar to. or better yep um, or better product that's what i think they're gonna have to do yeah, like, uh, like what they did with the yeah, gold cells, similar like said. they similar, didn't just provide better, gold yeah. but they provided your ability to buy other products with with the co-tokens not just um 
That but, doesn't mean changes, guys. That just yeah. means more is like because a lot of people forget that um, yeah, private but, servers, you know, as much as they try to emulate what they did in Classic, which they do beautifully most of the time, Blizzard actually has all the information of things that happened in Classic, like uh, the amount of mechanics, how many times this boss did this mechanic. They might know what the mechanic is in the private server, but they might have the timing wrong. They might have the amount of time. Armor it's going to be rating, way like all these armor rating, things, things like that. that little yeah. things that people forget, people pass over. Blizzard has all the information, and it's going to be way more Blizz-like than anyone could ever imagine, and better uh, than anyone I think could ever imagine. So yeah, less bugs, you know, all these things yeah. that you know, and, and and yeah, a lot of people like Asmund Gold. I want my guy dragging his knee down and loot lagging and stuff <laughs> like that. Guys, it's not going to happen. I'm like sorry. that's part of it. I mean, that's there are going to be happen. bugs. Of course, there are going to be bugs. There's always bugs. No yeah, I, I don't now, know. But... Yeah. There, oh, yes. Okay. There's always going to be yeah. a bug or two. But I think that but, bootleg uh, thing is not going to. I don't happen think. Anymore. Yeah. I don't think Taran Mill versus, versus South is going to result server. You're breaking up a little bit. I think you said Taran Mill South yeah. won't result in a server crash, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I doubt that the Taran gates of Encourage probably South. won't cause a server crash. You know, things. I mean, like it that. might. It, it might, depending on how many people. But yeah, but they're going to have a better population. It won't happen. Yeah, all those things. So that they're going to provide, like what I'm saying, take the take the private server experience and make it better. Don't change it. Just make it better. Yep. Um, so by making it more seamless. Okay. Yep. So our third point. Hold on. Um, this is kind of theoretical. It's kind of exciting. It's a huge question. But it does tie into the money thing because, um, yes. you know, it like where the money goes, let's see where the money goes. And where the money goes, changes will come in the future. Correct. Not with Classic, but, yeah. you know, let's talk about uh, the M MMOs in general. Will Classic change uh, um, MMOs? Well, yeah, will, class will the launch of Classic result in a paradigm shift in MMO and in gaming? Um, Even in future Blizzard expansions. So yeah. let's read that uh, comment that we have from... Yeah, so we have a, we have a uh, comment from one of our viewers. Um, his name, which I'm probably going to butcher, butcher is Julian Antoluse. Uh, and I'm sorry First if I said that wrong. Thank you for commenting. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's up on your screen now. Uh, maybe you guys don't see it, but the fact that Blizzard doesn't want to run two MMOs while destroying current WoW and releasing Classic WoW points to a clear option. Classic WoW is the future base of WoW 2. While BFA will be an absolute disaster and the last expansion of current WoW. I have seen this since they announced Classic, and every info coming out since then points to a return to the roots. This is the main reason Classic WoW implementation is delayed. It is a paradigm shift so massive that forces Blizzard to carefully watch their threads. Blizzard knows that Classic WoW will be extremely addictive. We will see huge numbers of players playing classic most likely three to one compared yeah. to bfa and not at launch at launch classic bfa will be close to eight to one but one year later blizzard is preparing for the change now a lot of this is speculation i have to hey, say guys, this is very all good, his opinion yeah, it's very, very well written well put. uh yes comment you put a lot of got, like a lot of our commenters put so much so much time effort effort into their comments, comments amazing, and i'm sorry yeah. that i like i'm busy all the time and i can't read them no, it's a it's an opinion, but it is also an opinion that I, I tend to agree with a little bit. Yeah. I don't if if BFA will actually be Blizzard's last expansion, but I think um, where they're going with this, and I think a, a, it was a point that Esfan brought out um, in the classic cast, and he said basically that um, you know even with things that are going on right now, like with Legion, with this whole um, shift in taking it longer to level, uh, making a, a dungeons harder. They're going back to the roots, guys. They're going back. They're trying to emulate the things that made Classic addictive, the things that made it great, and they're trying to bring that into the game today. And I think with Classic coming out and how big it's going to be, it's going to make that even bigger. I think future expansions, hopefully, will take an even bigger note from Classic and an even bigger, um, uh, you know, uh, example. Mm -hmm. And I, I hope that that won't just go to, you know, I hope that will go to all games because like we talked about in our last episode, um, games back in the early 2000s were so much more addictive, so much more, I feel like um, this world where you can delve into and and just, you know, totally immerse yourself. Today, you play a game, you play a match, uh, you know, you kill a couple of people and it's like, it's just this this short term, like it's flashy, it's, it's something happens, you know, it's a lot of action and then, Go right to the next but there's no continual storyline it's all you know one little thing after another one little thing after another to try to keep you uh um you know hooked and what they do is like with the expansions 
yeah, they might get a lot of expansion sales, but they lose subs throughout time. And yeah. what they want to do is get the expansion times, but also keep the subs. And how do you do that? You make the game interesting. You make it a little bit harder, but you make it more rewarding. You take the notes from Classic that made it great, and you implement that back into the future of gaming. And I think if, if Classic is what everyone thinks it's going to be, we're going to see a huge shift in gaming, and it's going to um, instead of being that quick, fast pace, we're going to try. They're, they're going to go back to that. What made gaming great? I, I you know, I, I, I tend to agree with him. What make do you think? Gaming great again. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, um, guys. Make make WoW great again. Yeah. So make WoW great. And that's again. actually like what that. uh, make the, Azeroth great again. <laughs> yeah, that's actually it was actually a tag in the in the, in the video. I uh, I'll, I'll link it. With. So Mark Kern actually used that in his video. It said make Az it was, make. Vanilla great again, or something like that. It was they were using make Azeroth great again. I love that. Yeah, yeah. make so, Azeroth great again. I think it's very possible. Very. Po I know this is a high risk project. I consider it high risk only because even though we have a proven fan base, um, it's still high risk for Blizzard to do this. I think. Uh, I think. Not high risk, mean, but it's, it's it's a risky thing to do this, man. It's a you know. You're, it you're, is you're, risky in the fact that they don't know how it's gonna how yeah, it's gonna um, yeah. uh, what impact it's gonna have on their actual current version of the game. Correct. I think that's the risk. That's a good point. That's the but risk. But I think there's a very real possibility, guys, that Classic will do better than BFA. I think there's a very real possibility that that's true. Um, and I was listening to Nixium. Uh, he, he thinks that it's going to be something like this. Thing. So in the in the beginning, uh, and I kind of agree with him because, so he thinks, you know, there's a lot of, he's he knows a lot of people that have never played Vanilla and are very, very interested in it. Very interested in it. So he thinks what's going to happen is there's going to be, a, of course, a huge rush in the beginning. I mean, it might be even bigger than any expansion we've ever seen in the past. It's How possible. many people are going to be playing with it in the beginning? Yep. It's then possible. we're going to see. Then we're going to see a dip. But then after that dip, he thinks we're going to see another rise because people are going to play BFA. They're going to get sick of it, and they're going to come back to classic, and they're going to stick to something that they feel like their time, like it's worth investing their time in. Because let's face it, guys, I don't feel, I mean, I, I, I personally don't feel like the time I invest in Legion in the current game is worth it. I really don't feel that way. I felt more invested, in, I say this all the time because it's true though, in my level 10 Rogue than I did in my 110 Mythic rating tune. Yeah. That's yeah. that's that's huge. Yeah. And, and, I, and I know a lot of other people with me. And... People are going to want to spend time playing that game where they feel invested, in. and yeah. unless Blizzard, like we talk about, the hair, unless they make changes to the current game to make that uh, more invest that invested better in BFA, then people are going to come to Classic and they're going to stay there and they're going to love it. And I think um, there's a huge, huge I think people underestimate this big time, but there is a huge. Uh, market out there of people who have never played classic that I think will love the game. Yeah. I, I honestly I, do. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet money on this. Actually, I'm not sure how much. So we <laughs> a have dollar. so I, dollar. I think the, you, yeah, you're dollar. not very uh, spendy. So that's, that's true. I think pretty frugal. I think saying that five million current players of, of Legion is is giving them a lot. I think five million is high. I think Wait. we could find out, couldn't we? No, nah, they don't release their stats anymore. Oh, uh, okay. I think five million's high. Let's just say five million. I guarantee you, from the from launch to the end of Wrath, Wrath, more people started and left the game than are currently playing. Mm. I'm willing to That's bet a, good point. a lot of money on that. I know, per I know people personally. I know at least off the top of my head, every person that I know who played WoW in real life. Does not play well anymore. No, well, let me let me continue on that point. So uh -huh. you have this amount of people. I don't know how much it is. So at, at, at WoW's peak, there was about 10 million subscribers. Maybe a little more than that during the peak of Wrath. Maybe 12. Ooh. Okay, 12 million. If you count all the people who started between Classic and ended their gameplay, started and ended between Classic and Wrath, I guarantee you that number is probably three times as high than the current current fan base. Yeah, I, I, I tend to agree with you. If, I really do. If, if like a tenth of those people play Go Back for Classic, you're going to have a huge thriving community. Yep. A huge thriving community. 
Um, and then you got to count the people and then you that gotta, are playing count the people who, and yes, classic at correct. the same time, and who had never played, and all the people in private yeah. servers. So if you count all those people, you're going to have a freaking huge community. I, I really mm -hmm. think it's going to be huge. Um, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to play BFA, and then there's going to be a lull, and they're going to play classic, and then wow, this yeah. is better than BFA, yeah. and they're going to stay to class, or they're going to play both. There's got to be people who are going to play both. We know that. I mean, I sure. might even play both for a yeah. little bit, but I'm, of course, my focus is going to be on Classic. Yeah. 100%. I probably play BFA for maybe a month or two and see how it is. It and might be good. Classic, no, we never know. Once, once Classic yeah. comes out, I'm on Classic. Um, yeah, so, um, crap. Yeah, so, no, it, like, I wanna... just personally, like, I know so many people that stopped playing the game. Like, yeah. every, almost every person I know that plays WoW in real life stopped playing somewhere between uh, uh from from vanilla onwards you know i know some people who back but you know um played a little bit legion and then stopped again you know but so many of those people and so many of those people that i've talked to cannot wait for class to come out guys there's going to be a huge and not all these you gotta remember guys like the amount of people that we see on the forums we see talking about it right now that's not even the tip of the iceberg guys there's yeah a whole bunch of people out there waiting for Classic to come out that you don't even realize. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that's my opinion. Yeah, I agree. And Blizzard, in the off chance you're listening to this com conversation, <laughs> you have been on the forefront on a lot of huge paradigm shifts in gaming and, and huge yeah, events. Yeah, absolutely. You've, you've, you've created the best MMO ever made, most successful MMO ever made. You've created the best real-time games. The best FES, you, people say the best FPS yes, uh, yes. with Overwatch. This yeah. could be your next wave. This could be the next... You could be the next forerunner in a huge wave that is going to revitalize the MMO, MMO uh, uh, part of gaming. Chapter yeah. of gaming. And this... Is, so if you guys are listening, just do this right, <laughs> and I promise you... Um, you're and guys, be, yeah. yeah. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna reap the benefits. You're going to reap the rewards. Because, you know, even... I know there's also even people... Oh, man... Does that mean they're going to bring out Burning Crusade? Because, you know, they love the Burning Crusade. They love Wrath, you know, and... Yeah, I think they'd be stupid not to. Oh, yeah. I, I, I also agree, but... Yeah. You know, and then, like, so many people, I think they, they don't realize how many people who never got to play Vanilla and that are actually going to like it because there are those people out there. And the people who don't, they'll still have a game to go to. And, and the best part is they'll still have a Blizzard game to go to. That's what we have to realize they're not going to lose people here they're just going to gain all we can see is future in the future for them is gain one way or another if they bring out a version of vanilla that the no changes people will play and i think that just ties into everything i think that's yeah but so so this part's been kind of opinionated but let's talk about the money part of it like the logical part of it right 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 um so you want to uh you want to do this right, and you want to you want to corner the, the so there's so the back to the first two points: cost to benefit ratio, Blizzard hates private servers. Those two things are going to drive you to make hopefully make a product that is close to what it is in private service, so you corner that market, right? Right. Um, and since it's got the Blizzard label attached to it, so that's the huge part. So it's got a Blizzard yeah. label, it's got a name. You're in the, you're in the you are in the prime place to cause this paradigm shift uh to make a, bo a boatload of money right so and I, yeah yeah so yeah, this is the definitely. part this is the part of it that's logical so mm -hmm. um uh bring it home brother come on yeah i guess what i'm trying to say is that like, so <laughs> no, no, like, i mean like yeah yeah so like this could be bigger than bfa right so uh -huh. it, it's not going to cost you a lot of money really you have a small team you're going to have to right. do many changes you have you have a, you have a, an ability to make a boatload of profit off this Yes. You know, rules of acquisition, right? From the Ferengi. You have profit, oh, yeah. Rules you know. of acquisition number uh, 691. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> profit, profit, profit. I don't know what it is. But, yeah. like, it's, but like, you know, you have you have a really good opportunity to make a boatload of money right now. Yep. Your, your cost is pretty low, honestly. If you do it right. Uh, yeah, if you do it if they right. Do it right. Yeah. yeah, your cost is pretty and low. And let's not forget, if everything comes out, you know, the way that people are projecting with the, the numbers... That gives them a market, and it gives them a uh, a guide of what to do in the future, and how to increase profits in the future by implementing things like what people love in classic into future games. That's where it all comes together. Yeah. 
And I want to go back to the tweet uh, to, to end this. Um, because uh, the tweet had a really good point about a constitution. Um, now, I don't think a constitution will ever be written. But let me just read this part of the tweet again. What WoW Classic needs yeah. is a sort of constitution. Principles have made vanilla WoW what it was. Then you can build changes and patches on top of that. So long as they never veer from these established principles that will guide future changes. So I don't think a constitution will ever be written. Let's be honest. Um, this isn't a, a government. But, but they need a way of thinking uh, that will represent the idea of what to shoot for, basically. Yeah, is what so you Yeah. So a guideline. Yeah. Yeah, but I think yeah. So classic WoW could be that ideal, um, mm. and that ideal could, like you said, man, be the zeitgeist for future like future expansions. Like it could yeah. be the driving force bringing it back to core values of MMOs. Absolutely, I I totally agree, and I think. Um, I think, guys, this is going to be a huge stepping stone for Blizzard. I think they're going to learn a lot about their player base. I think they're going to learn a lot about what people really want. Um, because we've got to remember, guys, like, <laughs> the more addicting the game is, the more money it is yeah. in their pocket. And I think the game was never more addicting than it was in vanilla. And I think, well, I think the in highest, a way... the highest populations were in Wrath, but... Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it... True, and it was addicting then too, as well. Yeah, true, yeah. But, but but I know um, I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah, and I think that uh, they're gonna try to, you know, put that put those things uh, into the future expansions that made the game so addicting. And you know, why was the game addicting then? What made it like that? Uh, and to have that uh, basic guideline, a way of thinking, you know, not what makes the game more addicting, but what what do people want, and what is it that people really um, want in gaming what is it that they enjoy is it you know this fast paced thing yeah that might get uh that might get people to buy the expansion but it doesn't get the people to stay subscribed what gets people to stay subscribed that's mm -hmm. what they need to focus on and i think they're going to learn a lot from when classic comes out yeah. they're going to learn uh you know i think i think community is a huge part of that yeah community is a huge part they lost so much of the um the socializing aspect of the game uh, I think they're going to gain that back. They're going to they're going to build upon that, and they they just have so much to build upon from this. They really do. I mean, with even future MMOs, with future expansions, um, they really will have so much to build upon. And I think this is going to be a, a huge moment in gaming. I mean, when can you remember something like like this ever happening in gaming, where uh, even the mention of a re-release, like maybe with Final Fantasy, but it was never you know came to what it was like yeah they totally this, they think. totally screwed that up yeah they, yeah they, and like i mean learn from that mistake look at what they did there you know what i mean made learn way too many changes <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. there you go guys that's exactly what happened yep. too many changes you lost the market and the thing that people to realize like they were still able to play final fantasy 7 we're not able to you know correct you can you from, can download final fantasy 7 off from, steam yeah. right now yeah yeah and you can yeah. play it and it's legal but if yeah. you play on a private server it's illegal you're not supposed to do it and there's no way for the people who want to play a Blizzard version of yeah. an L to and do it no right now. There's no guarantee the server will be there tomorrow. It could be gone. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And it, not because of legal reasons, but because it just shut the hell down. You know, they just stopped exactly. caring or whatever. Yeah. You don't and know. people, people, yeah. you know, don't realize that, like, you know, with the whole, even with the StarCraft remaster thing and all that, like, there was a version that was playable. People don't have a playable version, uh, even though expansions and stuff, you know, went on. It was still basically, you know, similar. But we, you know, if you don't like Nixon, he doesn't want to play uh, private servers, and I totally understand that because he wants to stay, you know, either stay true to Blizzard, or whatever the reasoning is behind that. But I was one of those people for a long time, and I finally caved in. Um, so, guys, I, I just, you know, I, I'm kind of losing. I'm, I'm so tired. I'm sorry, but I, I just, no, I, I really no, think that they have um, such an opportunity here and yeah. to make money and to also make people happy. Yeah, that's what it comes just to down clarify, to. Final Fantasy VII Remake did not come out yet. We just were talking about um, what would they have shown people is right, a, a right. very, very different game from what it was. It's almost like an mm -hmm. action, real time. It's, and uh, that's and that's what I meant. Like, well, they were t they've yeah. been talking about that for so long. And it's very controversial. And, yeah, it's very controversial. Very controversial. Right yeah. But the thing is, like, that's that's what I was trying to say. You can still play Final Fantasy VII today. Yeah. yeah. That's the difference. You can still play. Uh, the original, uh, you know, version of it. and 
I think they tried to do something back in the, or, uh, what I'm thinking of is probably one of the online version that oh, they no, made. No, 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 like it's that. close to coming. No, it's they're they're many oh, it they're making it. Yeah, okay. it's just it's very controversial because if if you look it on on Google and watch the YouTube videos on it, just you'll see. It's extremely And that's the different. thing though because like but it's a it's people can still play the original version. Yeah, they can. Of Fantasy, yeah, they can. And it's not something that they have to worry about oh, is it going to disappear tomorrow? You know, are are we going to be um, you know, doing worrying about because it's something illegal and it's not, you know, really. Uh, yeah. Is, uh, from, is, is my character uh, who I spent Cap months uh, leveling the sixty and getting Cap raid gear? Yeah. Is it going to be gone tomorrow? You know, that kind of thing. Right. Exactly. We don't, we don't want to live so, like that every day. Yeah, it, it sucks. I mean, we still do it. We love the game, but it's not. Fun. So I don't know about you guys, but this made me actually pretty happy. Uh, just thinking from the standpoint and but in, in the fact that I think um, Blizzard's going to bring out something that's going to be pretty awesome. It made me uh, pretty happy. I, I can I can truly say that I'm not as worried as I was before, um, because if you look from the standpoint, from the business standpoint of view, it just it just doesn't make sense to make changes to the game, it really doesn't. Yeah, or or large changes, large scale yeah. changes. Yeah, it really doesn't. So so yeah, is uh, well, it's, well, we're gonna we're gonna close it up, but uh, we just want to close up with saying that um, you know if you guys aren't know who we if you're I, I I guarantee there's gonna be a lot of people watching this video who don't know who we are because I think it might get a little more traction than most of our other videos. So we 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 make uh, vanilla WoW mostly classic WoW videos. We do a comedy series called well, it's kind of comedy series called Super Play Brothers. Super Play Brothers. It's guys, we have so much fun. If you haven't, it's checked actually it. a let's play, but it's comedy yeah. let's yeah. play. And uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe. Guys, like this kind of stuff. Um, we're going to be doing more discussions. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more discussions like this um, until Classic comes out. We're going to be doing a lot more. Um, let's play is a lot everything to do with classic basically that you guys would want to see um, You can come check out here and and, and uh, get a taste of it. Yeah, so thanks for uh, thanks for listening uh, Please let yourself be heard in the comments below be please be cordial. Uh, I don't respond to people who aren't cordial um, Oh, I do respond. I just don't respond in ways you probably want me to. <laughs> no, you respond, uh, yeah. I respond. Uh, just, just, yeah. I, you I know. think a lot of people forget. Uh, just remember, there's, you know, uh, you know, even when it comes to commenting against, you know, someone who, with comments, if it's someone else, there's always a human being behind that, and uh, people just uh, sometimes tend to forget that. Even on the forums, guys. I mean, like, the way to do it, I think, it, to get your point across, it comes, it comes better in a res if you do it in a respectful manner. I think, yeah, I think personally, I, I agree. Um, and I think we should we should put a link to the uh, forums here in the video, uh, yeah, in the description. I'll put that in my notes here, link to forums. Um, so there'll be a lot of links uh, underneath the in the description, and also there'll be I'll be popping up some video. You know, you'll, you, you know, there's some stuff in the video that you saw. Um, so hopefully you can check those things out, like classic cast stuff like that. The links will be in the yeah. description for that. Um, yeah. Those, yeah, I can't say how much. Those guys are doing a really good job. So, they are. They are. Yep. Um, Don't forget to like you. and subscribe, guys. Yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for being here. This is Melderon TV and... Def Camp. Signing off. Have a good night. All right. And day, or whatever time it is where you're listening to right now. <laughs> See ya. Goodbye.